Hey gamers, welcome back to Creative Gamers. I've been getting so many comments saying that Game Hub Lite is not working, people asking where it went and why no one is talking about it anymore. So here's the real story. Game Hub Lite is an open source, privacy friendly emulator with no login, no permissions, nothing unnecessary. Unlike the official Game Hub, which uses a lot of permissions it doesn't actually need. The original developer stopped the Game Hub Lite project at version four, the servers were shut down, and that's why older versions don't work now. But the good news is the developer handed the project over to the EmuReady emulator emulation group, and they've been actively developing it again. The latest update is V5.1.3, it's working perfectly, and the performance is basically the same as the official game hub. Now let's try this emulator. When you open it, you land directly on the dashboard. It's simple and clean with no login required. You will see two options on the home screen, PC emulation and Steam login. We're using PC emulation. Tap on import PC games, then locate your game folder and select the game's .exe file. Right after that, the emulator will automatically install the firmware and the required emulator components. Once everything finishes, the game will appear on your home screen. Now let's move into the best settings. Tap the three dots next to your game and open game settings. In general settings, you can change the resolution. If your device is powerful, keep it on default. If your device is low end, set it to 960 into 455. Everything else can stay as it is. No need to change anything else in this section. Next, scroll down to compatibility settings. Start with translation params and set it to extreme preset. Then go to the GPU driver section. If you're using Using a Snapdragon device, select the latest Turnip driver. If you're using Snapdragon 8 Elite, select the latest 8E Gen 5 driver. MediaTek or Helio users should choose System driver. Now scroll to DXVK version. Snapdragon users should keep it on default, and MediaTek or Helio users should choose DXVK V1 Taunt 11.1 Melee Fix or scroll down and try DXVK 1.5.5. After that, go to VKD3D version and set it to the latest Proton 2.40.1. And for the CPU translator, always select the latest fax version. That's all you need here. Now go to touch control settings and enable input mapping. After this, all settings are complete. Now launch your game. But here's where a big issue appears. When I tried starting the emulator, my game kept force closing and showing a failed error. This happened every single time, but there's a fix for this. Go back to the front page and select PC emulation. Then tap the small gear settings icon. You'll see all emulator components listed. From here, just install the latest firmware file. It takes a few minutes, but once it's done, the fix works works. Now open your game again, and this time it should finally start successfully. I'm testing GTA 5 as always, because it's the best way to see how well an emulator really performs. One thing you'll notice immediately is that GTA 5 never launches in full screen on Game Hub Lite, no matter which version you're using. That's normal. Just head into the game's display settings and switch it to full screen manually. After that, I added my GTA 5 save data so I could skip straight to free roam instead of replaying the early missions. Once I loaded back in, I was honestly surprised by the performance. I I started seeing the FPS climb all the way up to 60. It isn't stable at a perfect 60. You'll see it fluctuate up and down depending on what's happening on screen. But the fact that it even reaches 60 FPS on a lightweight emulator like this is impressive. And while driving, there were moments where I actually hit a stable 60 FPS for a short time, which is way better than I expected. My device is Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, so performance will depend on your hardware. But overall, the experience feels surprisingly smooth. Other games behave the same way they do on the official game hub. Whether you're testing lighter titles or more demanding PC games, the results are almost identical. That's because the core performance and translation layers are very similar. And since the MU Ready team is actively developing Game Hub Lite again, the emulator feels alive. Bugs are being fixed, updates are rolling out, and compatibility is improving with each version. So if you were confused about why Game Hub Lite seemed broken or missing, now you know the full story, and you've seen the working version in action. With the right settings and a capable device, you can squeeze some really solid performance out of it. Don't forget to like, comment, comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay creative, gamers.